Welcome to the Orange County Weekly Housing Report. It's Marco Ochoa here. Before we get into the numbers, the big news in real estate this last week was the Federal Reserve met on Wednesday and they announced that they're going to increase their federal fund target rate by three quarters of a percentage point. The reason why this is important is because it came in exactly as was expected. And because it came in as expected, it put the market at ease and in fact, actually injected some confidence into the bond market. Bond prices went up and when bond prices go up, mortgage rates go down. And when mortgage rates go down, it obviously makes home more affordable for non-cash buyers. Other news in real estate, the new home sales numbers on a national level for the month of June were released. They were expected to come in at an annual rate of 660,000, which would have been a 2.8% increase compared to the prior month. And it actually came in at 590,000 units, making it 8.1% lower than the previous month, putting it at the lowest level since the pandemic. Also, the pending home sales index for the month of June on a national level came out. And what this means is the number of homes that actually went into escrow. It was expected to come in 1% less than the prior month, and it actually came in 8.6% lower. So the analysts were a little bit off there. Now, in this video, we're going to zoom in on the Orange County market. We're going to go over how many homes sold this week, the median sales price for those homes. We're also gonna share with you the average days on market and show you how it compares to the prior week. So you have week over week numbers. Also, we're gonna compare this week to the same time period in 2021. So you'll be able to see which way the trend is going. We're also gonna share with you how many new listings hit the market this week, how many went into escrow, how many fell off the market. We're also gonna go over the current supply of homes, which is a great indicator to determine if it's a seller or a buyer's market. I know everybody asked for this, but hopefully we'll be able to earn your thumbs up on this video. And if you have any questions or comments as you're watching this, please put any questions in the comment area and we will definitely get you answers as quickly as possible. So that's it. Let's get into the numbers. So this is data from the MLS. It comes from the California Regional Multiple Listing Service. It's what us as real estate agents pay an annual fee for so we can have access to this data. So as you can see, this is for the week of July 25th through July 31st and this is for the number of closed homes. So it shows right here 462 homes closed this week. The median sales price for those homes, 978000 The average days on the market, 20 23. New listings that hit the market this week came in at 402. As you can see right here, the total of homes that went into escrow, 411. The number of homes that fell off market, a total of 329. When a home falls off the market, it's usually one of two reasons. Number one, it wasn't marketed properly, or two, it was overpriced for the product that they were offering. And it's usually a combination of the two. Total active inventory as of the recording of this video, as you can see, it shows 4,047. And the number of homes that closed over the last 30 days, as you can see, 1,755. So how do those numbers compare on a weekly basis? Obviously, we don't know what we're looking at unless we can compare it to something else. So as you can see right here, the number of homes sold for the week up 14%. Median sales price pretty much the same. It was actually down less than half a percent. Average days on the market up big 27%. So the homes that sold this week were on the market five days longer on average than the homes that sold the prior week. New listings that hit the market this week down 6% compared to the prior week. Properties that went under contract or into escrow down 2.8%. Number of homes that went off market this week up 17.5%. That's a big number. The reason why you're seeing that number is because a lot of homeowners are overpricing their homes and they're not getting the prices that they're looking for. And because they're not getting the prices that they're looking for, they're becoming discouraged and taking their homes off the market. Total active inventory pretty much the same up 0.6%. The number of closed homes over the last 30 days down 3.25% and supply of homes up 3.9%, bringing it to 2.3. So what does supply of homes mean? It means how long it would take to sell the current inventory at the current sales pace. The way that you arrive at that number, you take the total active inventory and you divide it by the closed sales over the last 30 days and it gives you the month supply of homes. So as you can see, the month supply of home is 2.31. We're slowly inching towards a neutral market. So what's a neutral market in Orange County? Neutral market in Orange County is a supply of homes between three to 4%. Anything above three to 4% is gonna be a buyer's market. Anything less than three to 4% is gonna be a seller's market. So as of right now, it's still a seller's market. Now on a yearly comparison, really interesting numbers here. As you can see, average days on the market compared to the same time period in 2021, up 35%. Also, the median sales price increased 1.35%, but this is a big number right here. Number of homes sold compared to the same time period in 2021, down 39%. So why is that happening? The reason why that's happening is because during this time period here in 2021, the interest rates were in the high twos. They're currently in the mid fives. According to Freddie Mac, as of July 28th, the average interest rates were at 5.3% on a 30-year fix. The week prior, they were at 5.54%. As of right now, per the numbers, it's still a seller's market. 
We're slowly inching towards a neutral market, but we're not there at this point. We'll keep an eye on it. There are a lot of people out there with opinions. Many homeowners believe that house prices are gonna stay the same or go up, and many renters think it's gonna crash. Everybody's got an opinion. The best thing to do at this point is to take everybody's opinion and just throw it out the window and keep an eye on the numbers so you can see which way the trends are going, so you can have the conviction and the confidence to do what's the best for yourself and your family, whether you wanna sell a house, buy a house, or simply just keep an eye on the market. I hope we earned your thumbs up on this video. Maybe you'll consider subscribing to our channel so you'll be notified when we release our next video. I get that some people are shy and have questions, but don't want to put them in the comment area. If that's you, feel free to send me an email, a text, or give me a phone call. I put my contact information in the section below. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next week.